Welcome to this introductory video of Esri's brand new application called ArcGIS Pro. ArcGIS Pro has been released in December as part of the ArcGIS version 10.3 and will be available with your ArcGIS for desktop license alongside ArcMap, ArcCatalog, etc. ArcGIS Pro is a 64-bit application, making it a more powerful than the existing desktop applications. Immediately you can see that it looks different to the interface you are used to seeing in, say, ArcMap. As we have introduced a ribbon for a contextual interface and to improve the user experience of the software. For existing users of ArcGIS and for new users to the platform. So to use ArcGIS Pro, do we have to start from scratch? The good news is, we, is that we don't. Here I have an arcmap.mxd where I have symbolized my buildings by height, set my labeling, attribute information for my layers. I've also configured a layout with the necessary information. I've also used Model Builder to set up some geoprocessing tools for my data included in this MXD. If I return to ArcGIS Pro, browse to insert on the ribbon, import map, and browse to the MXD that I'm interested in, I can open it directly in ArcGIS Pro. I've already opened this MXD, so let's have a look at how it appears in ArcGIS Pro. Here we have the data view that you'll recognize from the MXD in a tab. We can pan and zoom the map the same, and instead of clicking on Identify to see the attributes of a feature like you would in ArcMap, here we can just click directly on a feature. If I click on my polygon layer, you'll notice that the ribbon changes at the top. Appearance, labeling, and data tabs appear. These are highlighting the direct functionalities and tools available for this particular data type. If you keep an eye on the ribbon, the same happens if I click on my mosaic data set. Now, appearance and data tabs appear, giving us direct access to the tools for mosaic data sets. Let's have a look at, look at the layout that has come in with my MXD. Lots of layout functions are available which you will be familiar to, but ArcGIS Pro has the ability to serve multiple layouts for a single data frame as well. This means that instead of having to change one layout view in ArcMap, you can create as many layouts as you want in ArcGIS Pro for different outputs. Here you can see that I've created a landscape layout um, using the exact same data view. ArcGIS Pro has the ability, has the capacity to view and use 3D data as well as 2D. I think this is a really good way to get working with 3D data. To do this, I simply specified that my buildings, my building data was of type base height and the height information was contained within this field. And this extrudes the buildings on my map. I can move my map around and change the view. While the look of these buildings are a little rough, their appearances can be improved to reflect what they look like in reality by using rule packages either provided by Esri or created by yourself. We can combine 2D and 3D views to add more context to our data. You can see that I can dragging and dropping my views to build my own um, look of ArcGIS Pro. Combining these views you know, gives us a bit more context to our data. We can have the views connected, meaning that if I change one view, the other will change. This is through the view tab at the top. You can see that they line up. If I move 2D, 3D changes. If I move the 3D view, 2D changes. We can also perform editing in one view and the other will update. There is a designated edit tab for us to work with. In a 2D view, I choose the building I want to change. Modify the vertices. And when I finish this, the 2D or 3D view will change. You may have noticed for editing, I didn't have to find and open an editor toolbar or start an editing session. 
editing is available immediately for the user. The same applies for my chosen feature um, if I want to change the attributes. I select my feature again and I click on the attribute button and the attributes for this particular feature opens straight away. Here I can change the information. So the existing building height figure is 2. If I change this to 10, And not only does the height of the building change in the 2D view, but the symbology updates as well. Let's just, let me just put more views back together. Let's have a quick look at the analysis tab. You'll see that Model Builder and Python are available for you to use as well, alongside geoprocessing tools which you're used to using in other desktop applications like ArcScene. An added feature here is that you can Customize the analysis gallery by storing your most used and favorite tools here. ArcGIS Pro works really well with ArcGIS Online. We can access all of our information from our ArcGIS Online account or from the ArcGIS Online community through the portal pane uh, on the project pane. To demonstrate this, I'm going to add in a feature service of repair incidents from my area. I simply right click on the feature and select add to current map. It may request you to sign into your ArcGIS Align account to get access to this data. A live connection exists with this data, so if, I, if it is edited by multiple other people through other applications in the ArcGIS platform, I know that these changes are going to be reflected in ArcGIS Pro and I'm getting the most up-to-date up up information. Here you can see that the information has been brought in straight away. I can click on any feature to see the attribute information hidden behind it. Bringing this data into ArcGIS Pro allows me to do some further analysis on this dynamic live data. In this case, I can perform some network analysis and find the optimal route for a repairman to reach all of the repairs in a particular area. There are more sharing options available in ArcGIS Pro. I can package up all of my data, maps, geoprocessing tools, databases, styles and layouts into a project to share um, with my colleagues or um, to ArcGIS Online. I also have the ability to share this map that I've created or layers I've created to ArcGIS Online utilizing the excellent hosting environment provided there. So that was a really quick introduction to ArcGIS Pro and some of the benefits and new features that are available. More information can be found um, on our website if you note the address at the top here. Also some tutorials, tips and advice are available to help you get started with ArcGIS Pro and migrate your data over.